Hello everyone and welcome to my crafting ingredient guide for alchemism level 1 to 100 and above. Now these ingredients, they are zero tier, so they don't give as much XP as higher tier ingredients, but they drop much more frequently, so they are easier to get. Um, they are arranged in level ranges, so once you have reached a certain uh, level, that will be marked on the screen. Uh, you can move over to the next ingredient on that list. And in the corner that's being marked on the screen right now, you're going to be able to find the coordinates for that spot. And in this corner, you're going to be able to see the name of the spot, the name of the mob you're looking for, the name of the ingredient, and also the level, level range. You can use that ingredient until you can move on to the next one on the list. And if you have trouble reading coordinates or just want a visual on how to get to that spot, head down into the description. There are links uh, to videos showing you how to get to each and every single spot from the nearest city or landmark. Anywho, that has been all. Let's go. For alchemism level 1 up to level 11, we're gonna go over to Yaya's house over in the Nivla forest to farm mushrooms. Yes, not killing this time, farming. So if you grab a scythe, you can head over to these logs laying on the ground and basically farm red and brown mushrooms, which you can use up to alchemism level 11. For the next ingredient, level 11 up to level 21, we're gonna head over to the Pigmen Ravines uh, south of Ragni. Now here you can kill pigmen to get pigmen meat. Uh, they do spawn uh, near the southern gate to Ragni and also in this camp looking area in the middle and also if you head more to the south there's a tunnel leading over to Troms where they do also spawn in large numbers. And basically uh, get pigmen meat up to level 21 where uh, you can start using the next ingredient on this list. For level 21 up to level 32 we're gonna head over to this mud cave in ancient Nemeract. Here you can kill the uh, muddy zombies to get thick mud, the ingredient you can use in uh, for this level range. Now it's uh, one of those um, kind of grind caves where um, you head down and there's a loot chest at the end and then you get teleported to the entrance when you're done. So you can run this loop several times and um, get a lot of thick mud. For the next level range, 32 up to 43, we're gonna head over to the Half Moon Island. Now, basically, you can kill all mobs on this island and they drop the ingredient to Lunar Dust, which you can use for this level range. Um, I'd recommend this very top area on the island that is shown here. Um, the spawn rates are quite good and uh, there are, of course, other areas so you can run around and basically kill all mobs that you see because all of them should drop lunar dust. Moving over to 43 up to 55, we're gonna head over to the Nessak forest and kill snow golems, basically the snowmen that spawn around the forest to get snow hearts, the ingredient that you can use for this level range. Um, Golems don't spawn in very great numbers, so you're going to have to run around the forest basically until you come across them. Um, but you could also head over to the previous spot uh, on the Half Moon Island and use Lunar Dust up until level 55. For the next ingredient, uh, we're going to head over to the Olux Swamps. Uh, around this pond, but also around other swampy areas, basically all over the Oluk swamps, um, where you can kill these swamp nagas. Um, this particular spot shown here, coordinates on the screen, 
uh, has great spawn uh, spawns and uh, you won't even have to use a totem albeit a totem will of course improve on the uh, spawn rates uh, this nagas drop uh, naga tail which you can use up until level 62 where you can start with the next ingredient for the next level range 62 up to 76 you can head over to the cemetery at the entrance or borderline between the Olak swamps and the dark uh, forest or dark woods um, and in the cemetery uh, wraiths spawn uh, but also a mob called phantasm both of them do drop um, the ingredient unholy spirit which you can use for this level range uh, the spawn rates can be on and off so uh, it can be a, both a little or a lot depending sometimes um, but of course a totem will improve on the spawn rates and the mobs do spawn in the cemetery and the kind of like area around it too. And for the next ingredient uh, on this list we have royal bug blood. Uh, which you can get from killing these royal bugs uh, at this kind of like ruin in the light forest. Uh, this ingredient you can use from 76 up to 83 but also up to 91 due to uh, it being so easy to get. Because these royal bugs they spawn a lot like you don't ever have to use a totem here and the spawn rates are insane. You can get stacks upon stacks within um, just a few hours or less even. Um, so I'd recommend you to use it up to even 91. Um, but of course you can use it up to 83 where you can use the next ingredient on this list. And for the next ingredient on this list we're going to head over to the Canyon of the Lost. Uh, where you can kill these harpies that do spawn uh, around the theseed ish area. Um, they drop plucked feathers, which uh, you can use from level 83 up to 91. Um, but of course, you can also use the previous ingredient on this list uh, up until level 91 or above that if you want to. Uh, but here is a level 80 alternative. For the next ingredient on this list, we have Acid Magma, which you can use uh, from level 91 up to 97. Uh, you can head over to this Magma Entity Cave and kill these Magma Entities to get it. Now, the spawn rates are insane. They spawn in a great swarm, and when you've killed that first swarm, uh, you can just do slash class, wait up to 5 seconds, join back in, and within a few seconds, the entire swarm has respawned. And you can keep doing this to not have to wait for them to respawn. It's a quick tr uh, trick to gather a lot of ingredients, but also a lot of XP at the same time. Without having to wait too long for respawns. And for our last ingredient on this list, we have Ominous Pearls, which you can get from killing these Umbral Sentinels. Basically, the Spider Mobs and the Enderman Mobs uh, in the Emerald Mines. So basically, uh, the long mine road uh, heading from uh, Deathless to Lutho. Uh, you can basically just run around the entire mine area and kill these mobs to get it and you can use it from level 97 up to whatever level you desire to reach. So it's the enderman mob and the shadow spider mobs basically. And uh, yeah that's it for this list. And that has been all for my crafting ingredient guide for Alchemism 1 to 100 and above. Now, 
I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and maybe a comment down below. And also subscribe if you want to. But I'm not forcing you to do any of those things. I hope you're having a, a nice day. And uh, yeah, that has been all. Goodbye.